Hey guys, it's Brooklyn. So Bailey and I have always done like little routines and workouts to stay healthy and fit, and you'll constantly request it. So I thought I'd finally show you some of the stuff that we do. Before we get onto the video, y'all, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Click the button right down there, which is the big right button. I know you see it, so definitely go check that out. Now, let's get onto the video. Okay, so here's the gist with this workout routine. It's super easy. It's all stuff you can do at home. You don't need machines. You don't need any of those like fancy lift things, those weights, none of that. So you can just do all of these exercises at home by yourself. It takes about maybe 30 minutes out of your day. Sometimes we'll do it in the morning, sometimes we'll do it at night. It's just super easy to like put into your timetable so you can really commit to it. Now, I usually start this workout with a 10 minute stretch because you wanna leave your muscles like not tight so you don't injure yourself. And then I also usually go on a run beforehand. I know running is not my favorite thing and probably not your favorite thing, but I usually start it off with a run just so we're like healthy and our energy's up. So I usually do about a 20 minute run, just light, and then we'll start on the routine. So I will explain to you the first exercise. I typically start with my core just so that I feel like nice and good when I do the rest of my body because I don't know about y'all, but I always feel like I start off with like a little food baby and that's just not fun. We wanna get rid of that as soon as possible. And I typically like to go with 10 regular crunches just to begin my exercise for my abs. So if you don't know what a crunch is, you're just gonna sit like this with your knees up about shoulder width apart, lay on your back, and then lift your shoulders up. And then just repeat that about 10 different times. I don't know how many that was because I wasn't counting. <laughs> but somewhere around in that general area. And my next exercise are going to be 10 reverse crunches. So these are a little bit more difficult. Not everybody loves to do these. But this is where you lay on your back like so. And then you lift your body up like this. So you're going to go down and then you're going to lift up and then down, and lift up. And you repeat this about 10 times as well. Okay, so we've done regular crunches and reverse crunches. Now we're gonna do a couple other versions of crunches. They're the easiest way to exercise your abs, so that's why I'm doing this. Um, so we're gonna do straight legged, 10 straight legged crunches, and 10 straddle crunches. So I'm gonna show you what each of those are and then do them for you. So straight leg crunches, you're gonna lay on your back and your legs are just gonna be up like this. And then you just repeat the same motion as regular crunches, just with your legs up in the air. Now, straddle crunches are when your legs are out in a V like this. If you're not flexible enough for that, you can just lift your knees up and it will give you the same exercise. But I like to do this just because I'm a dancer and it also stretches me while I do my exercise. Um, but you go out like this, and then you crunch. And you can put your arms out if you want as well, but I like having them behind my head. Okay, so we've done 10 regular crunches, 10 reverse crunches, 10 straight leg crunches, and 10 straddle crunches. So that creates 40 crunches, and I prefer doing them forwards and backwards. So in total, you will get 80 crunches in for your exercise, and that is what we're gonna do for our core. So it's super easy, super simple, not that complicated, and you leave feeling like a real fit woman because your abs are all tight, and it's awesome. So now we're gonna move on to the next part. So the next part we're gonna be exercising is our arms. I don't know about y'all, but my arms are probably my least favorite part to exercise because then I feel like, like a limp noodle afterwards. But we are going to make it super easy and simple and it's just gonna be fast and y'all really, it's not that hard. So you're not gonna be dying when you do this. So the first one is you're gonna do three sets of 10 push-ups. You can choose whether or not you wanna do girl push-ups or guy push-ups. I like doing guy push-ups because I'm an independent tough woman. But you can choose whatever you wanna do. It exercises your body all the same. So I'm just gonna show y'all that and then we can move on to the next exercise. You're just gonna repeat that three different times to create your exercise. And then we're gonna move on to the next arm exercise. My next exercise has two different options. I know I said you didn't need weights, but if you do have weights, you can always do arm curls with your weights. So you just put the weights in your hands, you hold them, and then you just curl like this. You do about three sets of 10 if you wanna do that. If you don't have weights and you're like, what? What are you talking about? I'm never gonna own weights. That's cool too. We can do what I call arm lifts, which is where you just hold your arms out like this, 
and you move them up and down for about 30 seconds. And you can move them in circles or side to side, whatever you want, just holding your arms out like this, about 30 seconds, and then you switch to going like this, front and back for about 30 seconds. And then you repeat going up like this. And with this exercise, you wanna keep your elbows together and your wrists together as you go up. And you do that for about 30 seconds. And if you're not feeling the burn, you can always repeat it until you do. And then as soon as you're starting to feel like, I'm gonna die, I need to stop, you put your arms down and you're done with the exercise. If you've done both of these exercises and you're still not feeling the burn and you want something a little bit more challenging, I always do three sets of 10 tricep dips. And this is typically where you put your arms up on something a little bit higher than you and then you dip with your elbows out like this and go up. So I'll show you the form on the mat, but typically you're up on a little something a little bit higher to make it more difficult. So you're gonna put your body, you want your body to be straight like this, and then you're gonna dip and up. So you're gonna repeat that three sets of 10 times so that you get a little bit more of a deep arm workout. Okay, the next part of the body we're gonna be exercising is our bootay, because we all want the nice, beautiful butt that we all are like, ah, I just have always wanted that, you know? So we're gonna be working on that. I don't know if that was a weird thing to say, but whatever. We're gonna be working on that, and there's just two easy exercises that you can do. I call the first one the fire hydrant because it looks like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. Personal opinion, don't know if anybody else feels that way, but I'm gonna show you what that exercise looks like, and we usually do three sets of 10 for that as well. So you're just gonna go on your hands and knees like so, and you're gonna lift your legs up on the side like you're peeing on a fire hydrant. And you're just gonna repeat that, about 10 times on this side. And then you're gonna switch to the other leg and do it about 10 times as well. Once you're done with that, you can just repeat it another two times on each side to get a total of 30 leg lifts on each side. And then the second butt workout we are gonna do, this one definitely looks a little awkward and I typically try not to do it in public. When you're in the gym, you just know people are staring at you when you do it. But I'm gonna show y'all anyway so you know and if you wanna do it, you can. So you're going to lay on your back and you're gonna put your arms down flat next to your side and you're going to lift your hips up in the air like this. And you're just gonna repeat it over and over again and you're gonna to wanna to clench your muscles when you get to the top. You're just gonna go over and over until you start to feel a little bit of a burn and that is the second butt exercise. So it definitely looks very awkward and it is not my favorite thing to do in public but you can definitely try it at home and when nobody else is looking, get that exercise in. Okay, now we're moving on to exercising the legs. So this is my favorite part of the exercise. I just love doing this. So the first set, we're going to do three sets of 15 lunges. Again, if you have weights, you can do them um, as weighted lunges. If you don't have weights, don't worry about it. You can also get a good exercise out of just doing plain lunges. So you're gonna turn to the side and put one of your feet forward. And then you're gonna bend down and touch your knee to the mat and then lift back up. And then go down, back up. And you're gonna do this about 15 times and then switch to the other side. Okay, so when you do a squat, you're gonna want your legs to be about shoulder width apart, and you want your toes and heels solidly on the ground. And then you're just gonna lower yourself into like a squatting sitting position, almost like you're sitting in a chair. But you wanna keep your body in line as much as possible and your toes and heels on the ground as much as possible. So you're gonna do this about three sets of 10, so you get about 30 squats in, um, and I'll just show you some of those right now. To finish off your exercise, I do about a 10 minute cool down stretch. Some easy stretches you can do for that. Um, just spreading your legs apart, kind of reaching to the side, and to the side, putting your feet together, touching your toes. Um, if you wanna do a little bit of a lunge fe feeling, go down like this, put your nose to your knee. Just easy exercises, moving your arms side to side. This is all good just to cool down, let your muscles relax so they're not stressed, and finish off the workout. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and hopefully you enjoyed seeing me do my workout routine, because it's pretty easy, it's not that hard. Also, put the 
that subscribe button, so go do that. Please make my dreams come true. Go click that button. I will love you forever. One, 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 right down there. Now, y'all, if you want to see more videos, click the button over here. And that's all we have for you this week. So, bye, y'all. With the best.